in the world today we have ma major hatred brewing we have major hatred brewing because people have forgotten where the laws of their life begin and end not only in front of a jesus christ that they claim produced our american continent but openly they forget where their rights begin and end under god's house you see most people don't go to church anymore most people don't believe in their bibles anymore most people don't really quote verses anymore most people don't rebuke their families anymore most people allow their bitches and bastard children from foreign lands into america anymore and most people fail their lives every year when they don't say his rights are his my rights are mine and i'm not entering into anything that puts my life and my rights at risk it doesn't matter whether or not we bait some fucking sexual pervert. When a police officer doesn't stop what the pervert is doing, he proves that he is a Satan bastard centurion that killed Christ. Every human being in America has the right to their personhood, their paperwork, their property. Underneath my version of Mark's Law, which is a version from the Bible, it says, I belong to whatever created us. I don't belong to you, you little fine, fucking faggot Chinese boy. I don't belong to you, you little Philippine bitch of ass girl. And that woman who wanted to borrow your cell phone had a fucking cell phone the next day. So don't you tell me that you learned one fucking thing from me. You weren't hearing me say, don't fucking involve yourself in this. But what I'm going to say to the shitbag little girl who just thought she was so fucking clever is your life is now over with. When you allowed that fucking husband into your life, you screwed your life before God. And no matter what I say to you, you're so fucking lazy now, you just think you're clever. You're not clever. You participated in sexual assault. You participated in sexual abuse. You participated in think, if I feed you, I can look at your pockets, I can take shit out on you, I can do whatever the fuck I like. And that is not American life. That is a form of rape. You are raping someone of their property. You are raping someone of their rights to their body. You are raping someone saying, I'm going to shave someone. I'm going to do this. I'm going to feel good. I'm going to show Christ through this. No, you're not. You're showing Satan every single day. And every single fucking paltry day that my brother drove in and out of the campus while I was being beaten up, starving to death, freezing to death, shows what kind of shitbag brother he is of Satan. And it doesn't matter if I'm talking about a biological bastard brother who's always a gamer, always taking doors off hinges for his children to teach him a lesson. And it might have taught him a lesson, but what it taught them was how to be in power in a way that's inappropriate. That bastard man of mine, and, that, and what I mean is that brother, decided to take my mom away when I needed her most in time. And those fucking shitbag sisters decided to give me a cell phone that didn't even fucking work didn't even provide me a fucking thing to it so when people go through struggle there are bitches in a family that will just pounce and ruin a life but the in-laws that they brought into our family destroyed my motherfucking father's legacy so don't you fucking think you got one thing to say to me if you're not fucking related to me in any kind of bloodline because whatever the fuck you have to say whatever the fuck you think you have the rights to do you just lost your whole fucking life to christ and what I mean by that is that when you get called home, you're not heading to heaven. You are so not having to he heading to heaven because you motherfucking thought you were going to be Lord over a life. And it doesn't matter what happens to me because I told you. God's already made the promise to me that if I go and when I go, I come back as a reaper and a warrior for God. And when I come back, it's my right. And I can tell these stories. I can tell these truths. I can tell you how many fucking reporters I contacted. I can tell you that a world-class reporter from Indianapolis stole my fucking goods. But you don't give a shit because it's not your property. You don't give a fucking care because it's not your fucking legal name. You don't give a shit because it's not your body being screwed and fucked by some bastard in the force who just thinks he's going to get off on proving that he's a liar, a gossiping little girl, and a piece of shit of Satan.